Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, you know what? I kind of wanted to do this video to kind of give you guys a little bit better of an idea about what kind of what I do on a daily basis when I use knives that I review. And I'm going to throw in a couple other little things at the end because well, it just kind of all fits with what we have going on here with the line and everything like that. But, you know, we talk about, you'd hear me when I review knives, you know, I talk about a lot of times I say, okay, this one, it's an okay rope knife. It was a pretty good rope knife. And I don't know, I mean, it's hard to, for you guys to visualize what I'm talking about. So this is why I'm doing um, this video. What you have on the table in front of you is really the three main, and I'll be perfectly honest with you, it's really the two, but I have the three different types of rope here that we actually use. Rope or line, depending on, you know, how technical you want to get. But... I have in front of us, I have six thread manila or natural fiber line. I also have 21 thread manila natural fiber line. And then we have some of this yellow nylon. I hate using this stuff. I'll tell you guys, this we do use it from time to time. Not a lot. We typically use the six thread and the 21 thread. Now, what do I mean by when I say use? Well, I'm a crane rigger. We rig loads to be lifted with a crane. And sometimes, uh, depending on what it is and what you're lifting, loads have to be tied back. And kind of just secured. I mean, they're normally being lifted by either a strong back or a wire rope. We don't physically use this type of material to lift loads. Could you? Yeah, to a point, but everything that we lift has to be weight tested, weight certified, and that's why we normally use wire ropes, nylon slings, um, strong backs, and what a strong back is is basically a it's a metal fixture for lifting it has a single singular pick point on the top and then maybe four legs that come down to to an attachment point to a certain box or a plate or whatever it is we might be lifting so these don't typically get used to lift the loads but they do get used to tie back loads, bundle. Um, we have an open box a lot of times that we put stuff in to take it from the pier to the deck of the, the vessels that we're working on. And so sometimes loads have to be tied back and secured. So these are the things that we use to do that. So when I'm telling you that I'm cutting rope, you know, it's a good rope knife. It's not a good rope knife. This, this is what I'm talking about. Um, we use a lot of six thread. And like I said, this is just six thread manila line. I've got the, we usually put tape on the ends when we cut them. So we, so they don't unravel on us. Um, we also use this stuff for what we call tag lines. And basically a tag line is nothing more then a line that gets tied to the load and then one of the riggers or one of the sailors that we're working with holds on to the other end basically just to steady the load. It's a way to steady the load in like windy conditions or, or something like that. But these are the things that I'm talking about. This is what I cut. Now the six thread, here you're looking at a diameter of about a quarter of an inch. So it's stout. But it's not overly stout rope, but I tell you what, you cut through this enough times in a day, yeah, your knife's going to go to work for you. Now this, this is 21 thread. Uh, 21 thread, 
The six thread is typically more for tying back loads. Now bigger loads, we will use the 21 thread. The 21 thread a lot of times is used for tag lines. And that that's what I was saying when we're steadying a load as it's going over to the submarine. Now this stuff, you're looking at a diameter of about a half an inch. There you go. That's kind of a in relationship to my finger. It's this is pretty stout stuff. So this is the type of thing that I'm cutting. And then again, I ha like I said, we have this yellow nylon. I really, really do not like this stuff. For one, it's much harder to tie and get a really secure knot because, well, it, it slips easier. So I really don't like this stuff. I just brought it to show you because the knives that I do review do cut it from time to time but you know what we're gonna we're gonna do a ray and get rid of that so we don't like that stuff but typically it's the 21 thread and the six thread that i use now if you remember i just did my toughest or not toughest knife but my well this was my toughest knife in the mount rushmore my mount rushmore of knives this knife represented George Washington, the toughest, one of the toughest presidents we've had. And the reason, the reason I did, I said that is because of this right here, the Marlin Spike. Not only do I use a blade, but I use a Marlin Spike. And I've referenced a Marlin Spike as a shackle key a few times. And I've had several people ask me, what do you mean by a shackle key? Well, this is a shackle. If you've not familiar with a shackle this is a shackle it's a crosby shackle pretty much crosby is one of the standards in in weightlifting and crane operations if you'll notice there this shackle has a weight limit of three and a quarter tons and it's a five eighths inch shackle now you'll notice you have the pin you know, we'll rig a load. Like I said, we don't use rope. This is a wire rope. We'll put it on. We'll secure the load. Secure the shackle around the wire rope. And it gets lifted, right? Well, sometimes when you're lifting, you may be lifting like this. You know, and sometimes that shackle will get tight. It'll get very tight. And it'll get tight to the point where you cannot open it with your fingers you'll sit there and well that I guess I could but you can see there what I'm doing right I tighten it up a bit man you'll sit there and it just won't come marlin spike hole pop it open there's your shackle key you can get, undo the shackle and open the shackle that way that's why I sometimes refer to my marlin spike as a shackle key because it allows me to get a shackle undone, get that pin out when it's if it's gotten tightened down when lifting a load. Now, Marlin Spike can be used for several different things. Now you see here you've got these strands. Now, if I were to try to put an eye in this rope to actually create an eye in this, and guys, I suck at this. <laughs> That's why I'm just gonna kinda. Uh, I'm terrible at this. I need directions and there's so many different because depending on the size of your eye, your where you mend it has to be a certain length depending on the size of the eye and the diameter of the rope. There's a lot of things that go into this. But if I were to do that, that's one thing you can use. The marlin spike for that is the use of the marlin spike is separating those strands to weave the other strands through to create your eye another thing another use for a marlin spike say you've got a knot you can't get undone fish that marlin spike in there and it'll help you to untie that knot 
Now another another use for a marlin spike would be fishing net. You can actually mend net. It'll help you mend net. And there's just my biggest use. My biggest use is this right here. That's what I use a marlin spike for. Getting that pin out of that shackle if it gets too tight. And it happens quite a few times during a day. Now you got to be careful too because when you put that down, yeah, that sucker pops. Don't want to get your finger under there. Done it. Don't like it. It hurts. But now that might give you a little bit better idea of why I called this my toughest knife. Because, well, I tell you what, guys, a knife like this isn't going to be undoing a shackle for me. Isn't going to be a shackle key. That, definitely not a shackle key. That right there. Oh, yeah. That is a shackle key for me. So, there you go, guys. I thought it would be a little bit of a fun video to kind of give you just a little bit better idea of what I'm talking about when I say rope knife. I cut a lot of rope. You have a little bit better idea of what I'm talking about. And when I say this is a shackle key, it kind of gives you an idea of what I'm talking about as well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Gives you a little bit of better idea of what I'm talking about and yammering on here. So, <laughs> I really appreciate you checking it out today. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to y'all. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.